AFMC Original African Stories. Listener discretion is advised as this audio series may contain violence or strong language. On the last episode of Love, Music and Dreams. Daniel, what? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh my God! There is a girl. Who is she? <laughs> Look, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do. It's written all over your face. Who is she? Daniel Luya now. Her name is Stella. Oh, Stella. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. Nothing is ever going to happen between us. You're such a cute joy. <laughs> Her boyfriend's father owns one of the biggest oil servicing companies in Nigeria. How do you want me to compete with that? I would need some serious crack to think that I could ever have a chance with her. You know what? I think you're afraid. Just imagine my life if I could blend Stella and Go. Now I know you're a very stupid boy. <laughs> go! That would be the life. I knew it. You are still seeing that girl. I never stopped. Stella is beautiful, intelligent, and most of all, she's from the establishment. She fits the profile of my wife. Gold, on the other hand. She's beautiful and not intelligent. I know that. It's uh, one competition like that. Pen to screen? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're announcing the shortlist tonight. What's the grand prize? I think they would just uh, pay you for your story. I don't even know. <laughs> you don't know? So why did you enter into the competition if it's not to get the grand prize? Hmm. Well, to be honest, I, I entered because Stella wanted me to. It's agonizing to have to wait and see whether I made the shortlist. There is something about her. I'm not comfortable. Something like what? You're worried Stella will find out. I'm worried she's too ambitious. You say she knows about Stella and she doesn't mind. But she doesn't strike me as someone who will be content with being a side chick. You are imagining things. I hope so. For your sake. I hope so. Chilling in the office until traffic clears. When did you start staying at the office so late? I stayed back to complete a task. She going for that promotion. What will you be doing there all by yourself? Listening to music in my special corner. Special corner? Yup, in our creative room. That place you guys go to sleep. L O L. 
<laughs> Why do you always do that? I don't know. Maybe it's because I expect someone to be hiding in here. Yo, you won't believe what's going on here. I am not alone. What is it? Chill! I have to put my phone on silent. My colleague is with a woman. <laughs> they are shaggy in the office. Is that your Ashao colleague, Abby? No, the quiet one, Emmanuel. Diligent. Who is he doing? I can't see. Wait. Wait. How come they can't see you? I'm behind a bookshelf. Who is the woman he's with? Tell me now. Chill. I need to move some books to see. <gasps> I can't believe it. Who is it? Shut up, I drive. Nobody told. It's never that easy to love. Somebody told me, say bye for your papa Say also for your mama, no fit true love away I bet let's stay far away hey. Say you know me, and I know you And I see love, I see it in your eyes, my love yeah. <clears throat> Episode 1 Danny listens to her voice over the loudspeaker as Ogi praised their performance. That was Danny and Urode wowing us with such a beautiful duet. Danny, how did you feel about doing a duet with a competitor? <laughs> Nervous. Danny's eyes traveled to the left side of the hall. And as always, Tenny and her volunteer staff had their printed cardboards lifted high above their heads. He could see her screaming excitedly. Standing on that stage, his fingers interlocked with Orodes. Danny could not believe that only three months ago, he was in the waiting room at Future Insurance, awaiting his turn at the final interview for a management trainee position. That was where he met Danny. That's my favorite song. What song? The one you're listening to. Yeah, you can listen if you want. I'll prefer to listen to you sing along. With a voice like that, you should be auditioning for the star. <laughs> it's good you're that. Because with the way you're blushing, you would have turned pink if you were light. Even then, black people don't blush. Tell yourself anything you like. Seriously, though. You will not only qualify, you will win. I am sure of it. Do you want to... Oh. Yes? I'm coming, I'm coming! What are you doing here at this time? And what's with the bag? Let me enter now. Ah. Dereli's parents came to see him, so I let him use my apartment. But that doesn't make any sense. Why, why can't he take them to his own place? They need to catch a bus in the morning, and it's too far. Well, I don't have energy to Shalai. Where am I sleeping? You said you were coming at six. Six. And I didn't know you wanted to come and crash here. Daniel, what is the problem, Gongo? 
You want to throw your cousin on the streets. So I'll be eaten alive by the evil Lagos night when I sleep under the bridge. You are sick. Take your bag to the room. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> Ciao, day. At this time, it's nearly 10 p.m. Stop shouting. There's conflicts, and please don't disturb me. I'm trying to write. Yes, sir. Reduce the volume, I beg. Sorry. Uh, how is Stella? Oh, God. Sorry. You don't have to stop writing now. I know. I know. I know I won't have peace until you go back to your house. Now, wow. So, what story are you writing? Gentle worker and his slave driver boss. Shagging after work. <laughs> but, but it will make good TV. I know I'll watch it. Did you tell Stella? Haba, I can't be a snitch. But, do you think he's doing this because of the promotion? Emmanuel? <laughs> nah. Why not? <laughs> People will shock you. I'm shocked enough already. She is the same boss that's supposed to recommend one of you do you think she'll recommend Emmanuel just because they're having an affair honestly i don't know don't let it discourage you last last you give us some action to confuse her small <laughs> how is stella have you taken her out yet madam i don't know what you think this is she has a boyfriend mm. I don't mean like a romantic date or anything. Just a friendly outing. You know that my friend that does spoken word, Shola? She invited me to an open mic. You can ask Stella to come. What? What makes you think she will want to come? What makes you think I even want to go? Daniel, invite her and you're going. You should be sick of holding yourself up in the house. All the time. I've just sent you the details. I I didn't ask you to send it. Just make sure you tell her to come. You don't have to sweep me off my feet. Baby, I don't fall already. Tell me, don't you see? I pray to have a miss this not a tree. <coughs> Good morning, Mr. Bamidele. Morning. It's so weird <laughs> hearing you get all formal, calling me by my surname. <laughs> it's not every day we arrive at work at the same time. I had to mark the occasion somehow. <laughs> occasion. Oh, and he's a gentleman too. Thank you. Are you... Good morning, ma. Uh, Good morning. Free tonight. Good morning, Stella. Good morning. Are you free tonight? Yes, I'm free. What's up? Let's use the elevator. Uh, there's this... Mr. Astro, good morning. Good morning. Please hold the door. Good morning, Stella. Hi, Kate. Good morning. Sorry. So what's up? <clears throat> there's this uh, open mic I want to go to. But I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if you like such things. Oh, when is it? 7 p.m. tonight. Okay, I'm down. Have a great day, Mr. Bamidili. You too, Miss Hastrop. Nobody by Baby, you're not one in a million Baby, you're not one in a billion There's only one you There's only one you
And now, a word from our sponsors. Yeah, yeah. Reaches night and day. One custom. When you need to pay. One custom. Service no delay. One custom. Sterling lead the way. One custom. When you need the loan. One custom. Want to build a home. One custom. Give you a throne. One custom. Sterling now your own. No one custom. No one custom. No one custom. No one custom. Sterling Bank is the one for you. Sterling Bank good day for you. Should I wear a dress or a skirt? Hmm, dress, skirt, dress, skirt. It's good to see you too, Ma. Stella! Good. You're right on time. Impoka, what are you doing here? What sort of question is that? Is that how you greet your husband? Boyfriend. Hi, baby. Hey. I invited him to dinner. When? How come no one told me? Were you going out? Yeah, I... Let's go to the table before the food gets cold. You should have told me you were coming. I thought you knew. Where were you going? An open mic. You didn't tell me about that. Oh yeah, sit down, sit down. I know both of you wanted to catch up on each other's day, but let's eat first. You can catch up later when you're doing your regular nighttime serene. What is she talking about? I don't know. Thank you, mother. Th that's enough. How is daddy? Oh, he's splendid. He can't make it tonight. How's your new role at your father's company? It's going very well, Ma. It comes with interesting challenges, but I'm up to the task, Ma. I trust you, Jerry. Uh-uh, Stella! Why are you rushing your food like that? Is that how I taught you to eat? I... I... I need to... I need to leave soon. Stop talking with your mouth full. When they see you behaving like this now, they'll think we didn't teach you table manners. We have a guest. And you're talking about going out? We can go together after dinner. No, no, no. Don't don't worry. So, Ebuka, what's the next thing for you? Well, w right now, we're focusing on expanding operations to East Africa. Oh, no. Mm -mm. I don't mean business. I mean, with you. Mommy. You've bagged your advanced degrees. You've worked your way up to management. You must be thinking of um, settling down next. Mommy. <laughs> yes, ma. Soon. When? Mommy, stop. The rain. The rain calls out my pain, like a chicken leg that has been eaten already in a pot of stew. A pot of stew represents Have you called her to know how far? She's not picking up. I told you this was a bad idea. Maybe she's in traffic. She would have texted uh, that, or that taken was, my calls. That, that was lo lovely. Thank you. I'm leaving. I, I haven't finished my drink. Wait for me. Slow down. It's what you said to me. Look in my eyes, cause you're taking control now. I feel your heart beat up and it's my body put me into your zone now. No, I can find the worst, but you say it's not a problem. It's your show now. Yeah, it's your show now. So cute. Where's my diary? Dear diary, I look pink today. I know I'm never to be caught on fresh, on a normal day. But today, I put in some extra effort. I'm not meeting just any client. I'm meeting someone very special. My baby boy's soon 
to be X. I want to stare into the eyes of the girl whose man I'm scheming to get. Know your enemy. Yeah, me love the way you sit down for me. You keep it on a low by me. I know the way you back up on me. Exclusive like it's my boss. Only the way you fire unlock me. I see you burn a town on the grid. Me love the way you sit down for me. Keep it on a low by me. I know the way you back up on me. Exclusive like it's my boss. Only the way you fire unlock me. I see you burn a town on the grid. Your milkshake, Ma. <laughs> Are you sure you want to drink that thing? <laughs> You're way too fat to fit into your wedding dress. So. I beg. I'm not doing fit pam again. Wait in self. Wedding dress I have not even gotten yet. Now, wow. Is this how you and Lebu chat everywhere you go? It's not him, Jare. It's Zainab, his friend's wife. Rahim? Yup. She's organizing a surprise birthday party for him on Friday. And wants me to be there. Where? It's a house party. Do you want to come? This one you're asking for the venue. Like, yeah, the one that was invited. <laughs> come, K. I'm just asking so that I can place an order for a stripper to turn up and set the party on fire. Uh, I doubt Zainab is into that kind of thing. You can save the stripper for your hand party. Trust me, I'll get two of them, oh. in fact. To fear kwa. <laughs> <laughs> this wedding planner, babe, have you seen any other wedding she has done? She also did Funcha's wedding. The girl is good. You can use her for yours, too. <laughs> we'll see. Kene, if she's good enough for Onye's wedding, she'll be good enough for her brother's wedding, too. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi, Annie Tom. Please sit. What would you like to drink? Oh, don't worry about that. I'm fine. I've made the mood board for the reception. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let's see. Just a minute, please. Let me... Oh, here. I arranged them by color scheme. Oh, I love oh, this. This is so gorgeous. Told you. She's good. She's good. Babe, I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Uh, no. I was cuckoo enjoying your AC. Money is good though. New staff, new office. Hmm, I swear, this morning, I ticked off the last available slot for December. Eh? And this is just the middle of the year. You have arrived, though. I arrived, K. <laughs> I'm still very far from being the first choice wedding planner for the Lagos elite. Babe, I'm sure you are top 10, at least. Do you have to be number one? Yes. This life, Sha, when Ebuka hit your car, I'm sure you didn't know that it would change your life. How many jobs has it referred you for so far? Two. Although, I got the rest because I'm brilliant at what I do. Hey, God. Me, Seth. I need a life-changing somebody to come and hit my cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as if it's the man Baba was talking about. Remember he said... You will meet someone in the next seven days. And that person will change your life. He's I, beg, I, beg, I, beg. I didn't meet Ebuka after seven days. There's no connection at all. You are right. He even has a girlfriend. If not for her. Hello, babe. Okay, I'm coming. Whoa, Anita. I have to go. Shagwa has come to pick me. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. No be only Baba. Thank 
God I didn't tell her I met Ibuka within the seven days. I would never hear the end of it. Baba this, Baba that. Hm. But she's right about one thing though. Ibuka's girlfriend has always been a problem right from day one. Great job. Thank you. You've been very busy. I thought you might like to share a drink. I'm sorry. I don't drink while on duty. It's a party. You call it a party, Mr. Obi. I call it work. Then we'll have a dance. Come here. Your girlfriend should be waiting. She left. Oh, well, there's no music. Our heartbeats will do. Someone has to left. That was a non-alcoholic kiss. I can make exceptions today. <gasps> you should stop, Mr. Obi. Shh. Call me Ibuka. Hmm. Hmm. I'll call you Go. Go. Yes. Yes. Go. Thanks for listening to Love, Music and Dreams audio series brought to you by TNC Africa. Voice directed by Remy Olutimai. Produced by Adugo Falcon Uzoma. Written by Koridi Aziz. Theme song by the unknown band featuring Young Switch. Voice actors Floyd Ibo as Daniel. Shalewa Ashafa as Stella. Daniel F. Young as Ibuka. Okpe Kenshiro as Princess. Ifunaya Igwe as Enito. Supporting cast Jumoke Bello as Mrs. Hastrup. Onochi Nwoko as Emmanuel, Tadi Adikule as Bankole, Joy Ogbekene as Miss Inkiru, Christine Lamba as Desola, Emmanuel Musa Eliojo as Rahim, Nancy Edike as Rizola, Adeshola Aladishawe as Oge, Osaze Igodan as Dani, Sarah Ifelaja as Teni, Emmanuel Musa Eliojo as Mr. Suber, Ufoma Akeni as Muna, Ifunaya Igwe as Runke, Jumoke Bello as Zainab, Remy Olutimai as Femi Hastra, Mercy Frank as Orude, Remy Olutimai as Larry, Joy Ogbekene as Larry's girlfriend, Sunkilechi Bob Manuel as the judge, Ufama Akeni as Chioma, Remy Olutimai as Mr. Adisa, Emmanuel Musa Eliojo as executive producer, Odiri Awigana as the director, Odiri Awigana as Femi, Ufoma Akeni as Jumoke, Ufoma Akeni as Amaka, Tade Adikuli as Derele, Remy Ulutimai as radio host, Sunkilechi Bobmano as Baba. Oh,